Hi, my name is Dr. Adams and I'm a dentist at Maryland Holistic Dentist in Burtonsville, Maryland. And today I'm going to be talking about how to properly remove wisdom teeth and how to prevent cavitations. So let's talk about wisdom teeth and how to properly remove wisdom teeth. And once I'm finished talking about how to properly remove them, um, I think you'll understand how we how proper removal of wisdom teeth prevents cavitations and I'll define what a cavitation is and what to do if you've had wisdom teeth improperly removed in the past and what we might be able to do about it. So first thing is how to properly remove a wisdom tooth and really it's not much different than removing other teeth. What I typically will do is I will as carefully as possible remove the teeth and if the teeth have multiple roots, typically that will involve, for example, if the tooth has three roots, I'll typically separate the tooth into three pieces and take them the, the tooth out one piece at a time. And that's a lot less traumatic than trying to apply an instrument and forcefully remove the tooth in one piece. Once the tooth has been removed, uh, there'll oftentimes be cyst or scar tissue down in the extraction site. Oftentimes they'll have been bacteria that have been leaking down into the site and the body will grow cyst tissue to wrap around the infections that are progressing into the bone. The body does this to prevent viruses and fungus and different things and bacteria from getting in easily into other parts of your body. And uh, that tissue needs to be removed once the tooth is extracted. That cyst tissue will be tissue that your body is growing, it has its it has its own it has blood supply and that tissue will be full of bacteria and fungus or viruses or whatever else that it prevented from spreading into your body. The next thing is to properly remove the periodontal ligament. The periodontal ligament is almost like a peach fuzz type fiber. The fibers that they're fibers that connect the tooth to the bone and once that periodontal ligament is removed, then the scar tissue or cyst tissue is removed, bone cells can migrate into the site and grow bone to properly heal the wisdom tooth extraction site. Uh, once the site is clean, I will also apply a combination of ozone and oxygen gas. The ozone and oxygen gas will travel through the pores of the bone and kill any bacteria and promote healing of the bone. It's really important to do that because just because you've gotten the tooth out and any of the other yucky things out of the site does not mean that bacteria haven't traveled into some of the nearby pores of the bone and the bacteria can hide in there. Bone is a very bad place to have infections because there's not a lot of blood supply in bone and blood obviously is where your immune system lies and to have bacteria in a place where you don't really have much of a defense is not a good thing and this is where the ozone and the oxygen gas is very helpful to remove those infections that have gotten into uh, peripheral bone, you know, around the, around the extraction site. Um, the next thing that I do is we do a treatment called platelet-rich fibrin. Platelet-rich fibrin is obtained by drawing blood from the patient the day of the procedure. Essentially what we'll do is, just as if you're having a blood test done in a physician's office, we'll draw a few vials of blood and we spin it in our centrifuge at 2700 RPMs for 13 minutes and that will separate out a yellow substance, you know, we call platelet rich fibrin. And that long story short is a mixture of white blood cells and fibrin and bone growth factors and stem cells, uh, among other good things. And we will take the platelet rich fibrin that it looks like a yellow jello and we'll literally put it down into the extraction site. Um, and that will do two things. The first thing that it'll do is it will provide the things necessary to quickly grow 
or quickly stimulate the body to grow a bone. And also it actually physically occupies the space so the gum tissue above doesn't grow down into the site. The final step in properly removing wisdom teeth is to take a stitch. Um, I'll take a, typically take a dissolvable stitch and once the platelet treatment is done on the site, I'll wind it around a few times to help stabilize the gum tissue. And the gum tissue used to be attached to the tooth and it'll keep the gum tissue firmly held up against the uh, bone tissue and the stitch will also hold the uh, platelet treatment down into the site to prevent it from, from coming out. And that is how to properly remove a wisdom tooth and get it to grow properly. And the main focus in properly removing wisdom teeth is to help healthy bone grow back into the site. That's very important. Um, you don't want gum tissue above growing down into the site or bacteria in the mouth getting down in there. Sometimes what will happen if the wisdom teeth sites don't heal properly, the gum tissue will kind of grow down into the site and over top of the site along with bacteria or cyst tissue that hasn't been removed properly and you'll essentially have gum and bone that's kind of grown over on top and you'll still have this underlying void where bacteria and other pathogens still live and that can be a really bad thing depending on the type of bacteria and or fungus or whatever it is because those pathogens can live essentially in your jawbone indefinitely and they will feed off your blood supply and dump their byproducts or toxins and you'll essentially just have to uh, deal with this whatever that impact is on your system and that description is basically what a cavitation is uh, the term cavitation has gotten a really bad stigma in the dental community um, but I'll typically call it bone pathology. You can really call it whatever you want, but you know, having bacteria, you know, living in your jawbone where a tooth extraction site didn't heal properly is definitely not a good thing. So anyway, there you have it. My name is Dr. Adams. I'm a dentist at Maryland Holistic Dentist, and hopefully you found some value in my video about how to properly remove wisdom teeth. Thank you.